I can only think of one thing better than this Italian sausage sub, and that's being able to make it at home anytime I want to. And if you've got about five minutes, I'm gonna walk you step by step through this simple and delicious recipe right now on Capital Kitchen. Now, the easiest way to save time in the kitchen is to prep your ingredients before you start cooking. Today, we're gonna to be starting with our bell peppers. I like to use one red and one green, but you can really use whichever your favorites are. We're gonna cut around the outside of the pepper's core before slicing into quarter inch thick pieces and setting them aside for later. Then we're gonna use half a large onion, cut once down its length, and then sliced into thin strips. Not quite as thick as the bell peppers, but not too thin either. Next up's our garlic. I like to grab a cloth or paper towel and lay that down first before I break my garlic apart. These things can get pretty messy really fast and this just saves some of the headache of cleaning up after. Give each of the cloves one quick smash with the flat side of your knife and the skin should come off really easily. Give these a quick slice and a chop before setting them aside. Now finally, we've got the hero of our hero, the Italian sausage. I'm going to be using Capital Mild Italian Sausage today, but for an extra kick you can get Hot Italian Sausage as well. The coarse grind of the sausage is going to help give us that perfect bite you just can't get when you use other types of meat, like deli meats for example. Because we're not going to be using anything crunchy in our sandwich, it's important to use a hearty meat like this with a strong bite to make sure the texture's right. After all, nobody likes a floppy, mushy sandwich. Except for PB&J. Those get a pass. Now that we got all of our ingredients prepped and we got our sausage ready to go, we're going to get ourselves a pan. I like to use something with a bit of a higher wall to it, and we're going to set this on a medium, medium-high heat. You could use a good amount of olive oil there. Now we're only looking to cook the sausage about halfway for now. Let it sit on one side long enough to get some color before flipping over. And we're gonna let these cool off just a little bit before we cut into them. So while we've got the hot oil here and everything's ready to go, we're gonna throw in our peppers, okay? All right, so I love Italian sausage subs. This is something that growing up my mom would make all the time, but I am doing something a little bit different here because if I try to make this exactly the way my mom makes it, she's gonna kill me. So what I'm doing is I'm actually combining two childhood favorite dishes uh, that my mom would make. One of them is peperonata, which is uh, peppers like this with some tomato, onions, uh, sometimes potato she likes to throw in, and Italian sausage. And I'm also making subs out of it. So I'm, I'm mixing the two dishes. It's gonna be an interesting day when uh, when this video comes out and I talk to my mom next and we'll, we'll see what she has to say about it. But overall, she's very, very supportive of my cooking. So while the peppers are going here, one thing that you can do to speed up the process of cooking these is to put a little bit of salt on them. That's gonna help draw the moisture out and they'll cook a little bit faster. You'll also season them at the same time. So I've got coarse sea salt here. This is not really the best salt to be using for this situation, but it'll do the trick. Uh, something finer like a, like a table salt or a kosher salt is probably gonna work a little bit better, but I'm a big fan of using what you got. So this is gonna do the trick. I think it's time we get back to our sausage and we're gonna slice these up. So at this time, we're gonna go and throw in our onions. We'll get our onions in there. Oh yeah. So I'm gonna start here with the meat. All right, we're gonna throw in some of our chopped garlic. That ought to do it, perfect. I mean, you can't go wrong with that, right? We got peppers, onions, garlic, sausage. It's seasoned, we got some salt in there. Uh, this, is, this is looking pretty perfect. Now at this point, I can smell it. I can tell everything's uh, cooked beautifully. We're gonna go in with some of our tomato sauce. Now, if you don't have tomato sauce on hand and you wanna make some yourself, what you could do is check out the boss of tomato sauce, my nono Mariano, and you can see the way he makes his tomato sauce. We're just gonna go in with some tomato sauce here. Okay. Oh. See, and that doesn't take long at all. See how it just thickens right up? We're gonna take this off the heat, and look at what we've got here. And this is gonna be perfect for our filling, okay? And now, I mean, it's not a sub without a good bun. I just went to uh, the grocery store. Uh, these were under a buck each. So, I mean, if you go to a, you go to like a Subway or something, not to name drop, but you're, you're not getting subs like this for a couple of bucks, right? 
a little bit of olive oil. This is gonna help it toast. Okay, we're just gonna give it a nice drizzle. We're just gonna come in with some of our filling like this. Oh yeah. Woo! This is gonna be incredible. We're gonna just grate some of this right over the top. Okay, I've literally got myself just a ball of mozzarella cheese and we're gonna break this up and drop this all over the top, little pockets of uh, fresh mozzarella cheese, okay? And we're gonna put this in the oven until this cheese has melted right down. We're just gonna put it on the middle rack and keep an eye on it. Now, this step's optional, but I decided to chop a little fresh parsley for a garnish while our sandwiches were toasting. I think everything tastes better when it looks better, and I mean, come on. Like, are you looking at these sandwiches right now? I'm sitting here in the editing room, like, I gotta look at this all day. <sighs> all right, now you're probably wondering, how the heck do you eat this? So, the most important step here is you gotta get this wrapped. If you don't wrap it, you're not gonna have fun with this, so. I'm gonna pull this in and over tightly. Okay. Fold the edge over, fold the edge over, put that in there, and in like that. All right. Now that's what I'm talking about. It's got the sauce, it's got the meat. It's got the cheese. Oh, baby, you know it's gonna be a good sandwich. That's a winner. If you had to give this a score out of 10, what would you give it? 9.1. You're going 9.1? It's a slam dunk. You gotta make this. Your whole family's gonna love it. You can make these ahead of time, and before you throw it in the oven, you could wrap them up in tin foil and stick them in the freezer. If any of you make this at home, please leave us a comment. We love getting in there and talking to you guys. It makes our day. Send us some photos, send us some videos, send us some suggestions on what you'd like to see us make next time. And with that, I wanna thank you from the Capital Kitchen. I hope you all have a great day. I'll see you next time. <laughs>